Hi, this is David from CDN back with another quick tip. Today we're looking at how to view auction prices realized. This is one of the most powerful and important features in CDNX as it lets you identify and verify what value an item you're interested in has realized in the real world. You can see realized prices for coins, US paper money, modern China coins, and new categories that we're adding to the platform every day. So let's take a look at the feature. We're on the CDNX homepage and we'll navigate to a series that's always popular around the CDN offices, Barber Haves. And for this example, we'll start with the type coin. It's a good idea to start with the type coin when you're researching because it will encompass all of the coins within the series so you get to see all of those auction results. We'll use MS65 for our grade here and we'll come down to the APR, Auction Prices Realized row, and here we see the most recent realized price for a PCGS coin. Looks like Heritage bought one for 1200 even. For an NGC coin, they bought one, looks like, for 1560 We've also added a feature here, one row down, where you can see the latest realized auction for this particular coin on CDNX itself. Okay, back on the PCGS row, we could click see all and that would bring back a huge list of every single realized auction for a PCGS Barber half dollar in every grade. We'll do that in a second. But for now, let's narrow it down a bit. If we go back to MS65 and click here, we get to see every auction result for PCGS Barber halves in MS65. Now, if you're familiar with the reports feature in CDNX, this is the same screen that you're used to. This is just another way to run a report. The results are automatically filtered by date, so we see that same February result at the top of our list. And if we click on it, CDNX will actually take us directly to that realized auction page from Heritage. Notice, by the way, it opens in a new tab so we don't lose our place. We can click on any of these auction results and CDNX will take us directly there. As you can see, this is a really powerful feature to let you identify and verify what value an item you're interested in has realized in the real world. But wait, there's more. Remember how I said this screen is just another way to run a report? Well, just like a report, this screen lets you filter and sort the results. I'll show you what I mean. Let's start with filtering on this row here. I can filter results by auction house. Say I wanted to see only results from legend and boom, only legend results. I click the empty field to clear that filter. I can filter to see only CAC coins by sale date range, or in the description field, I can actually type any part of the name. Let's say we only want to see coins from the 1890s. I type 189 and only coins with 189 in the name appear. We can also filter by service, uh, but that wouldn't make any sense here because it's already a list of only PCGS coins. Okay, so that's filtering. Now what about sorting? Whereas with filtering, it adds or removes some results, sorting merely rearranges the results you're already looking at. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say I want to see the least expensive auction at the top. Easy. I go to the Realize column and click once. Now the results are sorted by the least expensive down to the most expensive. If I click again, the order reverses, most expensive at the top. This filtering and sorting becomes even more valuable if we close this screen and we go back and click see all. Now we're seeing all the grades for PCGS, not just MS65. And now this is way too much data to digest unless you know how to filter and sort. Okay, so that's how you use APR, auction prices realized. Last thing before I let you go, let's take a quick look at paper money. This information was heretofore simply unavailable, so we're excited to bring it to you now. Let's click Home, U.S. Currency, Large Size Notes, Legal Tender, a very popular area, and we'll pick, say, this Friedberg 18, 1869 $1 note. And suddenly we've got the data that people just haven't seen before, especially if you're a coin dealer, you may not have seen this. We'll pick the grade we're interested in, Click on an auction price realized, and lo and behold, now you know what we're looking at. This beautiful rainbow A sold by Stax Bowers for 15.6. Okay, there you have it, folks. This is David from CDN signing off. Happy bidding, and may the odds always be in your favor.